Welcome to ClockClass.com. I'm David Labounty. Today we are going to be discussing damaged teeth on wheels and how to repair them. Well, what we are going to do is we are going to replace a tooth. And I want to show you kind of the stages, describe to you the stages. So we have the tooth that's missing. I'm going to dovetail a notch into the rim. You don't want to go more than halfway into the rim. You don't want the notch to encroach on the adjacent teeth. So if you were to draw a line from the side of the adjacent tooth to the center, then this notch would not encroach on it. And hopefully you can see that this is a keystone shape. It's not just a straight notch. It's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Once we have that shape, we can take a, a plug of brass and insert the plug into the keystone. So there's quite a bit of filing work involved. And once we have this plug inserted, then we can cut this off, file the new tooth to shape, finish off the edges, the sides. We can spin this up and tip the teeth just like we did on the escape wheel. Okay, so that's the process. Now you don't want to cut it off too close to the rim of the teeth. So come out just a little. You don't want it too far either. So that's about as far as I would go. So I'm just going to cut that off quickly. Okay, very easy. This isn't too complex, but it does help to, to know the method to draw this out. So here's a tooth. Here's our slug. Then another tooth here. Okay, so my method then of reducing this down to a tooth shape is to file in this direction and this direction, just above the tips of these teeth. So we've reduced it down this much and then I come in this direction being careful not to damage the teeth on either side and I determine the spacing between the teeth then at the same time so we've reduced this down then to something that looks like that so all of this then has been removed and then depending on the spacing I can continue filing in until I have the spacing correct and then I can shape the tooth the very top of the tooth and then we're all done alright let me show you my progress I believe, believe this is the tooth. You can see that it needs to be shaped just a little bit. I believe it's a little long. If I run my finger across there, it feels like it's standing a little proud yet. I can shape up the root a little bit better, but we are getting very close to having that done. You can see just a bare hint of the keystone under this magnification and we could work a little longer and get that file down to where that totally disappears but you can see what a difference it is from the other side the other side is still pretty ugly and I would spend some time to clean that up as well and dress this tooth down to where it would be invisible 